this uh, morning, is that right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Who will refer to you to come to us and what, what problem do you have? Can you describe a little bit for us? The, uh, the neurologist who uh, uh, brought us here is uh -huh. Dr. Melissa Jones out uh -huh. of Sugarland. Yeah, neurology. What problem you have been having for uh, and for how long? I've probably had it for about a year now, and it's gotten progressively worse. I would start with headaches, and then I would get really sick to my stomach and feel like I'm about to pass out. And it started. Sometimes pass out. No, I've never passed almost, out. Almost, uh, like almost, it. yeah, nauseous. Yes. Yeah. And it started about a year ago, or a little over a year, and it would be. I might have it once every month or once every month, and then it's just gotten progressively worse to where it's twenty four seven now. Oh, uh, how long has been uh, twenty four seven? Mm, probably about three months now. Yeah, uh, have the doctor uh, conducted uh, MI, CT scan, and that kind of test? Uh, yeah. They have taken uh, X rays. But they did the MRI of uh -huh. MRI of the head. Uh huh. Then we went to a cardiologist. A cardiologist. Okay. And my heart uh -huh. was fine. Checked the heart, and the heart yeah. was fine. Uh huh. Uh, then we uh, went to the medical center, uh -huh. Baylor College of Medicine. Yeah. And they performed a some tilt table test. A tilt table test uh, uh -huh. where they lay them flat and slowly uh -huh. come up, and yeah. and the normal human being, when they first come up, their heart rate gets higher, uh -huh. and it, it calms down. Uh -huh. Through the whole process, her heart rate kept going up and yeah. up and up and up and up. Uh -huh. uh, so it never went down. Uh -huh. uh, the other test was a sweat test, where uh -huh. she performed some activities. The normal person would start sweating. Yeah. Uh, no, they oh. just put different sensors over my body, and they did this test where they would pull out the sweat and my bottom part of my legs didn't sweat like they're supposed to. Uh -huh. And then uh, they have uh, not identified anything as can be the cause of the pain? Well, after the test at the, at the medical center uh -huh. uh, showed that the results of the test that she is autonomic uh, nervous, nervous uh -huh. disorder, oh. autonomic nervous disorder. Oh. Uh, they say it happens to uh, girls, normally teenage yeah. girls. Uh, they don't know the cause of it. Uh -huh. uh, all they do is try to treat it uh, through uh -huh. medications to mitigate yeah. the amount of headaches and nauseousness and, and those things. And medication uh, have not been giving enough uh, help. They haven't really given me any. I take about four in the morning yeah. and three or four at night, and uh -huh. they haven't done much. So you have interrupted your study quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty hard for school because I'd always have headaches, and yeah. it's hard playing sports sometimes. Uh, I have treated a uh, similar case at similar age, and about two years ago <laughs> from Sugarland, <laughs> uh, same situation and then uh, never have it again even now uh, and uh, this is treatable by acupuncture and I hope I have chance to make you uh, go back to normal live a normal life <laughs> now you would like that uh, you working uh, on a scale one to ten ten being high level of pain zero being nothing what pain level do you work in today uh, seven. about seven. Uh, your pain is where? Uh, on your head? Uh, ho all over or part of it? Or? It's like right here yeah. and then sometimes it'll go behind my eyes but uh -huh. it pretty much rotates. Uh -huh. uh, lately it become more consistent, uh, the pain and more uh, intense, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, now I'm going to treat you right now.
you can see that. No, 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 you are not. No. Now, what is the level of pain now? It's like a three. Three? So it's uh, pretty good news, uh, although it's not as quick as I thought, but it's still coming down pretty quick, is that right? She, uh, the, Dr. Jones had indicated, um, well, you come highly regarded, she said, uh, let's try Dr. Ling and let's see what we can do to see if it resolves the problem. Otherwise, they would have to consider Botox, which would be wow. very painful yeah. uh, uh, shots uh -huh. across Proceed. the forehead oh, to oh. release the head. Oh. I, I don't even know who, <laughs> who that doctor is. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't. And most likely, uh, he found out uh, from his uh, patient, most likely. Now, what is your pain level now? A one. A one, yeah. See, good news. <laughs> yes, it's amazing how, yeah. how in such a, what, two minutes since gone. Yeah, two minutes. Yeah. You have good chance, as I said, uh, to leave our place uh, without pain. <laughs> but there are still so many doctors uh, who say acupuncture treatment has never been proven scientifically that it works. It's a uh, placebo. Right. Yeah, I, I think that idea uh, can You're never over here sell in the you. Western world, yeah. in America, yes. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It is almost uh, down to nothing now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the good news is uh, you don't need to. Uh, live with this pain for the rest of your life. You are too young uh, to have to have this monkey on your back. <laughs> now it's almost pain free, is that right? Yes. You are. So if people have chance to see uh, the treatment procedure, uh, one has to believe that acupuncture is not placebo. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah.